Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to my Photoshop Breakdown Series 1 compilation with my commentary, so enjoy! Alright, so this is the first shot that kicked off the whole thing. So I knew as soon as I got this Barbie style doll that I wanted to recreate um, Gaga as Joanne because the suit is so similar. So I decided to do it. It was like a cheap, fast, quick and efficient way to get a Gaga doll photo out of it. So I just edited the pants a little bit, gave her a hat, some new hair and now she is Joanne. Next up, we have the Hot Toys Belle. I wanted to utilize this Belle because I think she is the best version of Belle out there from the live action movie. And I also wanted to pick a fat action oriented scene as opposed to the beauty shots from the ballroom because action oriented scenes are always fun to photograph and also fun to edit. And I got this horse from the Wonder Woman toy set and I have been milking this horse in every shot that requires a horse. I keep using this same horse, but he's so useful, so. I'm really glad uh, this shot happened. Next up is another Hot Toys shot because I usually like to keep the theme consistent on my row on Instagram, you know, the three shots with the row. So I decided to pick my um, favorite uh, Wonder Woman Hot Toys figure, the training version, because I do think she has the best face sculpt. So um, I tried to recreate the scene where she is taking her armor from the Themyscira Armory with a really cool dome in the back and then her sword and her shield and yeah. Only thing edited is her hair. So next up we have Jasmine because to celebrate the ultimate princess celebration, I decided to take out the limited edition dolls of each princess and Jasmine was the first. I wanted to recreate the scene where she berates the boys for discussing her as an object, as a prize and she's like, I am not a prize to be won and she, you know, storms off. So I really love that scene. So I wanted to recreate that and also wanted to edit the colors to see how the limited edition doll would have looked like if they had kept to the, you know, color scheme from the movie and I think she looks really good and I really love Raja in the back as well it's pretty cute So this shot is also another um, shot that I was very excited to do because I was disappointed that the limited edition Mulan wasn't in her full armor. So ever since I got this doll, I wanted to do this edit using the armor plates from the Hasbro doll. So I took the armor plates separately in separate shots and then edited and fitted into size on the limited edition doll later on in Photoshop. But I, I did manually painted all the little red dots on the helmet and the chest plate to uh, match it with the, the lower part of the armor on the limited edition doll. And I think she looks really cool, really badass. And I think that's how the limited edition doll should have been, uh, which is, uh, you know, wearing her full armor because she looks so cool. So I'm glad this shot happened as well. Okay, Esmeralda. So um, I decided to do this scene based on like a general day in France and also incorporate elements of the Festival of Fools. Um, so the background is actually comprised of three different shots. We have one for the floor, one for the tent, and one for the cathedral. So they're all combined in there. And I also added some lots of festival stuff in the back to incorporate that celebratory feel. And I also edited her expression because I am a sucker for side eyes. I think side glances always give them more personality and a little bit more character. So I decided to do that. And I think in the final shot that I posted on my Instagram, I also added a lace trim at the end of her skirt. But it didn't make it into this shot breakdown because it was after. It was like a late decision. But you can go check it out on my Instagram though. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we have another Esmeralda shot because like I said, I like to keep the um, theme consistent. So it's going to be three consecutive Esmeralda shots to complete the row on my Instagram. 
And I chose this particular scene because it shows like the sweeter, softer side of Esmeralda because she was so fierce in the other scenes. And it personally resonated with me um, how she prays for the less unfortunate, you know, me being a minority from a developing third world country. So it also has a personal emotional connection to me as well. And I love how the colors of the stained glass window shines upon her as well. Gives it a very uh, magical vibe in the cathedral. So I really love this shot. All right, so next up, we have the final shot of Esmeralda. So for this one, I had to bring in Quasi as well, because I mean, technically it is his movie. So Quasi is from Mattel that was released back in the 90s. So um, the only challenge is that to try to make them seem like size balanced in terms of it, because Esmeralda is 17 inches and Quasi is really small on a, you know, like a one six scale. So that was the only challenge that I had. And I struggled a lot and I wanted to give up halfway, but I'm really glad that I pulled this off and I love the colors very warm fuzzy and has a very good feeling to it and I wanted to you know capture their special friendship of Esmeralda and Quasimodo because you know it's like a boy and girl friendship without being it romantic so I think that was quite unique Okay, now we have Cindy at the ball. Um, so I chose this particular scene because in the movie, like uh, the goal of her wanting to go to the ball is not to be, you know, like get married and meet the prince and all of that superficial stuff. She just wants to go out of the house, have fun, you know, have a ball at the ball. <laughs> anyway, so I chose this particular scene where she walks into the ballroom and she's just kind of hovering around in the corner in the dark a little bit, looking around, being in awe of all the things around her. And of course, I had to edit the uh, hair color and the dress color as well. So overall, I think it's a pretty nice shot that I did. Oh my god, this was by far my absolute favorite shot to do because it was just so fun. So I envisioned Lady Tremaine as a Pokemon villain boss battle that you would fight, you know, after a big level or something. And um, usually I get ideas late in the game, but for her, I knew exactly what I wanted to do since uh, the first start. I even did a little sketch of them initially of how I wanted it to be. So generally, I'm just channeling her as, you know, Giovanni. Uh, from Team Rocket with his Persian. So in this case, uh, Lady Tremaine's choice of Pokemon is her giant cat Pokemon, which is Lucify. And I just really loved everything about it. Even the editing, the shot breakdown was super fun because I kept it on theme and still made the you know breakdown look like a pokemon battle um you can check out on my instagram for the full shot breakdowns without my commentary so you can get the full entertainment value out of them all right so that is it from my series one compilation of my photoshop breakdown so i really hope you guys enjoyed it remember you can check out all the full shots and the full shot breakdowns without my commentary on my Instagram. So I really hope you guys would go and check out there. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you can thumbs up, like, and subscribe here on my channel so you get more videos like this in the future. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye.